rabbit starvation, also referred to as protein poisoning or mal de caribou or fat starvation, is a rare form of acute malnutrition thought to be caused by a complete absence of dietary fat intake coupled with ad lib protein consumption. Excess protein is sometimes cited as the cause when meat and fat are consumed in the correct ratio, it is nutritionally complete and can support humans for months or more. Other stresses, such as severe cold or dry environment, may intensify symptoms or decrease time to onset. Symptoms include diarrhea, headache, fatigue, low blood pressure and slow heart rate, and a vague discomfort and hunger that can be satisfied only by the consumption of fat. Rabbit meat is very lean. Commercial rabbit meat has 50 to 100 g dissectable fat per 2 kg. Based on a carcass yield of 60%, rabbit meat is around 8.3% fat. For comparison, in terms of carcass composition, beef is 32% fat, pork is 32%, and lamb is 28%. Pemmican is 50% fat by weight. Possible mechanisms, it has been observed that the human liver cannot safely metabolize much more than 221 a euro 301 g of protein per day, and human kidneys are similarly limited in their capability to remove urea from the bloodstream. Exceeding that amount results in excess levels of amino acids, ammonia, and or urea in the bloodstream, with potentially fatal consequences, especially if the person switches to a high-protein diet without giving time for the levels of his or her hepatic enzymes to upregulate. Since protein only contains 4 kilocalories per gram, and a typical adult human requires in excess of 1900 kilocalories to maintain the energy balance, it is possible to exceed the safe intake of protein if one is subjected to a high-protein diet with little or no fat or carbohydrates. However, given the lack of scientific data on the effects of high-protein diets, and the observed ability of the liver to compensate over a few days for a shift in protein intake, the U.S. Food and Nutrition Board does not set a tolerable upper intake level nor upper acceptable macronutrient distribution range for protein. Furthermore, Medical sources such as UpToDate do not include listings on this topic. Observations, the Arctic explorer Viljama Stefansson wrote as follows. The groups that depend on the blubber animals are the most fortunate in the hunting way of life, for they never suffer from fat hunger. This trouble is worst, so far as North America is concerned, among those forest Indians who depend at times on rabbits, the leanest animal in the north and who develop the extreme fat hunger known as rabbit starvation. Rabbit eaters, if they have no fat from another source a euro beaver, moose, fish a euro will develop diarrhea in about a week, with headache, lassitude and vague discomfort. If there are enough rabbits, the people eat till their stomachs are distended. But no matter how much they eat they feel unsatisfied. Some think a man will die sooner if he eats continually of fat-free meat than if he eats nothing, but this is a belief on which sufficient evidence for a decision has not been gathered in the North. Deaths from rabbit starvation, or from the eating of other skinny meat, are rare. For everyone understands the principle, and any possible preventive steps are naturally taken. During the Greeley Arctic Expedition 1881 Euro 1884 a harrowing experience of 25 expedition members, of whom 19 died, Stefansson refers to rabbit starvation which is now to me the key to the Greeley problem, which was why only six came back. He concludes that one of the reasons for the many deaths was cannibalism of the lean flesh of members who had already died. Stefansson likens this to rabbit starvation which he explains somewhat as in the above quoted observation. Charles Darwin, in The Voyage of the Beagle, wrote. We were here able to buy some biscuit. I had now been several days without tasting anything besides meat, I did not at all dislike this new regimen. But I felt as if it would only have agreed with me with hard exercise. I have heard that patients in England, when desired to confine themselves exclusively to an animal diet, even with the hope of life before their eyes, have hardly been able to endure it. Yet the gaucho and the pampas, for months together, touch is nothing but beef. But they eat, I observe, a very large proportion of fat, which is of a less animalized nature. And they particularly dislike dry meat, such as that of the agouti. Dr. Richardson, also, has remarked, 
a euro or a thought when people have fed for a long time solely upon lean animal food, the desire for fat becomes so insatiable, that they can consume a large quantity of unmixed and even oily fat without nausea, a euro this appears to me a curious physiological fact. It is, perhaps, from their meat regimen that the gauchos, like other carnivorous animals, can abstain long from food. I was told that at Tandil, some troops voluntarily pursued a party of Indians for three days, without eating or drinking. See also, Clostridial necrotizing enteritis, aka Pig Bell, another lethal protein related diet problem, country food slash Inuit diet, the traditional diet of the Inuit and First Nations, quashiorqual disease resulting from sufficient caloric intake with very low protein content, marasmus disease caused by inadequate caloric intake. No carbohydrate diet. References. Further reading: Spith, John D. Irkins, Jelma, Ed. The Paleoanthropology and Archaeology of Big Game Hunting: Protein, Fat, or Politics. Interdisciplinary Contributions to Archaeology. New York: Springer Doi. 10.1007 over 978-1-44 minus 19-6733-6. Minus 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 ISBN 978-1-4419-6732-9. Retrieved September 26, 2014. Spith, John D. The Other Side of Protein. In Irkins, Jelma. The Paleoanthropology and Archaeology of Big Game Hunting. Interdisciplinary Contributions to Archaeology Pages 45 a Euro 85 DOI 10.1007 over 978-1-1-44-19-6733-64 minus 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 ISBN 978-1-4419-6732-9 Naulai, Dieter. Avery, Graham. Protein Poisoning and Coastal Subsistence Journal of Archaeological Science 15, 395 a Euro 401 doi, 10.1016 slash 0305 4403, 88, 9037 4. Rosenvinch A. Tubro, S. Bar 1 quarter low, J. Crab, K. Parving, H. H. Astrup, A. Changes in renal function during weight loss induced by high versus low protein low fat diets in overweight subjects. International Journal of Obesity 23, 1170 a Euro 7 doi, 10.1038 PMID 10578207. Michelson, Kim Fleischer. Are there negative effects of an excessive protein intake? Pediatrics 106, 1293. PMID 11,061,839.